Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Gary Papa, Dave Roberts, and Jim Gardner. Thursday night, it's a day of damaging tornadoes in the south, and Bob Dole has reason to celebrate up north after winning New York. But the big story on Action News tonight is this is the second punch of our winter storm, but AccuWeather now says we are getting snow tonight after all. Chances are it will make the morning commute a tough one indeed. Now, the only part of our area that got significant snowfall today was the Lehigh Valley. This was the scene in Bethlehem. First they got ice, then a couple of inches of snow. Closer to Philadelphia, schools let their students out early today, like here at the Springfield High School in Montgomery County. All right, let's go outside to Dave Roberts. Dave, a late change by AccuWeather, and here we go again. All right, Jim, we avoided that earlier snow and some serious icing. Now we're looking for some more snow overnight. Action Radar shows the system. There you see the one system just moving through quickly with the precipitation moving out of the area. But you note coming out of the Virginias there and to the southwest, another system forming. Break it down, we'll show you the mix within that, and you will see an area of snow right down there, rather large area in the western portion of Pennsylvania down into the Virginias and moving uh, in our direction. So overnight, AccuWeather says we're going to pick up some of that, probably starting about uh, a little bit after 1 or 2 in the morning. The possible accumulation, anywhere from 1 to 3 inches out of this storm, uh, most likely the 3 inches coming for the folks down in New Jersey. In addition, the rush hour will be very cold and windy. Yeah, there's going to be some icy spots. Uh, 21 degrees with a wind chill of minus 7. So you need a little extra time in the morning. There'll be a little snow around. We'll take a look at the five-day forecast when we come back and see when all of this finally clears out. Jim? Thank you, David. Now let's go live to Action News reporter David Henry in Plymouth meeting. David, you've been surveying the roads in the area. What have you found tonight? Well, Jim, uh, we found very light traffic. This is uh, normally a very busy intersection, uh, crossroads here behind me, but uh, folks apparently wisely staying home tonight. A lot of patchy ice on the side roads, but major roads like Germantown Pike here in Plymouth meeting, the Blue Route and the Turnpike have all been treated and are quite passable. Uh, earlier tonight, we took a trip up north, and we found that conditions do get worse as you go north, uh, and that's what we found up in Bucks County tonight. We were hoping to hear birds chirping by now, but the sounds of this winter of our discontent are still with us. The snow was flying and the travel lanes were covered with slush on Route 202 near Doylestown. It started as rain, then turned to sleet, and finally snow seasoned with salt. A full menu when we'd already had our fill. I was hoping it was over. Uh, I guess winter is going to get its last hurrah in, and um, it's, it's a little icy out here. Many areas like Doylestown have gone far over their winter snow removal budgets, but the trucks were back out there again tonight, working the roads and running the overtime clock. The streets and sidewalks were treacherous, and the glaze of ice once again coated windshields. Instead of buying garden tools, we're still looking for ice scrapers. What is this thing you're using here? It's a toy. I mean, come on. This is an inferior ice scraper. Uh, alas, it was the last one that they had at the supermarket. They were all out of the industrial strength uh, ice scrapers. How many did you go through this winter? Uh, this is the third one. <laughs> it's got to be a record for this year. Hopefully, we'll be able to put those ice scrapers away for good after this weekend. But for now, anyway, keep them handy. I'm David Henry reporting live from Plymouth Meeting. Jim? Thank you, David. Again, AccuWeather says conditions have changed. We will get snow overnight and into the morning after all. And, of course, Dave Roberts will have more from AccuWeather later in this broadcast. And Action News will be back at 5.30 in the morning with the latest traffic conditions, specifics on trouble spots, and everything you need to know to help you get to work and school. This is the... And not rain because the cold air is coming in on the backside of the storm. And we're forecasting an additional 6 to 12 inches. Portland, Bangor, Concord, Manchester, another 3 to 6 inches in Boston between now and tomorrow afternoon. Look at all the cold air. Gosh, it's uh, almost springtime, and we're talking about sub-zero readings to St. Louis and Kansas City. Tomorrow morning, going in, it's going to be a cold start. Hope your car starts. 15 for high in Chicago. That's the best we can do. It's a far cry from where you should be this time of the year. Now watch the warm-up get underway across the western part. <laughs> Bingo meeting. <laughs> Archie Bunker on gun control. Did you know that 65% of 
percent of the people murdered in the last ten years were killed by handguns? Would it make you feel any better, little girl, if they was pushed out of windows? And now Archie Bunker on video cassette with All in the Family, the Collector's Edition, the Emmy-winning sitcom that broke all the rules. Yours for only four ninety-five plus shipping and handling for your first four-episode video cassette. Now you can experience the legendary wisdom of America's foremost expert on everything. Archie Bunker on politics. And Salvatore, Feldman, O'Reilly, Nelson. It's an Italian, a Jew, an Irishman, and a regular American. <laughs> what I call a balanced ticket. You'll even hear from Archie on the job. Get your first four episodes.